been a while. It hasn't snowed in three days, and there are no footprints. Well, this looks like a good spot to fish. Right here towards the sun. Fill some holes. Bam. Face down, I guess. Just a little bit lower. So here's my first hole. It's just a quick test to see how thick the ice is, how deep the water is, and whether or not it's a good spot to be fishing. If all checks out, I'll be drilling more holes in this spot. So I really gotta make sure the ice is the way I want it, which it definitely is, and it's deep enough for me to fish for the fish I want. Good workout. So here we're well past mid-January. We just went through a crazy negative 40 degrees Celsius cold spell. So the ice is really thick. I've been drilling a long time, and based on the amount I'm drilling, the ice is beyond 16 inches. It's almost there. Bam, we're full. What you're gonna want is a metal scoop with some holes. That way you can scoop out the ice in the middle a lot easier. And make sure you get a metal one. Plastic ones will snap in half. There we go. Clear it out. This stuff is better than going to the gym. Each one of these holes. It does his exhaust you pretty good. Um, I'd say for me, at about three, I gotta take a break. That's a very good workout. So let me just clear this baby up. Okay. I'm gonna eat the bread. Daddy! Hold on, Ella. Wait, I'm trying to get this guy in his guts. There you go. No, it's tangled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How? <laughs> How? We just looked, I just looked into one second. How did this happen? I don't know. I will. Alright, after I dealt with that tangled mess, I started setting up the 4x8 ice hut. But it's actually not that hard to do as a one person operation, as you can see, because that's what I am. I'm not sure how you set up your tent, but this is how I set up my tent. And I've been doing this for over a decade, and so far so good. So I recommend you to do it the way I do it. So it's not exactly super cold, but it's not warm either. It's about negative. 15 degrees Celsius. In this type of weather, you would be so much more warmer in a tent with a heater. It would be like a night and day difference in comfort. Without a heater, you're gonna be pretty cold the whole time. But with the heater and a winter jacket like mine, you should be pretty warm. Okay, take it down. It isn't that windy today, so all I gotta do is peg it down in one spot before I start setting up. If it was very windy, I would peg it down in more than one spot before setting up. In fact, I would have pegged it down well in advance right when I put it down. Otherwise, the wind could pick it up and you would have to run for this thing. And if you're lucky, you'll be fast enough to catch it. Once you have your tent fastened down, all you gotta do is now pull outwards in all the square sections where you find a handle. It's hard to explain, but if you watch the video, you see what I mean. Right here, I'm folding down the sidewall and pulling upwards to pop this tent into its square frame form. There you go. Later on, I'm gonna go inside and show you how it looks to the inside, and that will give you a very good understanding of what I'm doing here and what type of structure holds this tent together. So right about here, I'm done popping out most of the side walls. What you have to do last is the ceiling, which requires you to go inside and pop upwards, which I'll show you now. I'll also show you the inside anchor points for the pegs to secure this tent from the inside. Okay, bring it in. Okay, gotta go in there, secure it down. And then, let's get some holes. So I got everything in here, only partially set up. 
But there's enough hair for me just to work from the inside now. Because, okay, I'll pop this one up. Like so. Popped. This one. Up. Boom. That's the tent. Now I just gotta put it up properly. Peg all the corners. And I'll be good to go. So let's do this. So now that I'm in the hut, I brought my propane heater in and I'm gonna light it up so that way I'm less cold. But yeah, here it is, that'll work. Let's light it up. So you're supposed to turn on the valve, turn on the heater, lead it out, it's on. Hold it for 30 seconds and let go. Voila, it works. It's the most reliable heater ever had. I want to mention it's a really good idea to have some open airflow. So try to open some vents here and there to make sure it's not completely airtight. So now that part's done, I can relax, wait till the tent warms up, and then start fishing. But I'm gonna start pegging now, okay? So I'm gonna peg that one, that one, that one, all the way around basically, so I'll do that now. I did peg one first. That way, if the wind gusts a little bit, I'm not totally screwed, right? Because the heat's on, I'm gonna close this vent. Because I want this to be <laughs> as heat tight as possible. The wind is blowing from this side, right? So leaving this one open isn't so bad. But once I have this pegged, I'm gonna close it. These should all be underneath, facing outwards, so I gotta make sure I tuck them all outwards before I peg it down. Otherwise, that's gonna be a mistake. Okay, and afterwards what I'll do is I'll kick a lot of snow on the outside of that flap. I'll kick a lot of snow on the outside of the flap, right? There we go. I kick a bunch of snow on the bottom. Sit closely like this, keep my foot non-stop. So let's peg this baby down in this corner. One of these ice pecks. Uh, ice screws, I guess, whatever. I don't know what they're called. But yeah, you basically take it, push down hard, take it, push down hard, just keep drilling. It drills right into the ice. Like a screw drilled into wood. We get to keep going. Maybe I'll show the raw speed. That way you guys get an idea of how hard or how easy this is. Wide angle here. There you go. So. Basically, once it breaks in the ice, it gets a lot easier. Oops, but the top layer is always hard. It's really easy after you break it. There, I'm starting to feel it grip. So keep it steady, keep turning. You'll feel it catch. And when it catches, easy to go down because the threading's already started right now I'm trying to feel it it's catching there you go it's similar to taking a screw in wood it takes a while for the wood. once it catches keep it straight keep turning good to go in the past I actually would bring an electric drill and just drill it worked really good I bring big giant deck screws and I would just drill it straight down. It was kind of the best solution ever. But those screws I found, only issue with them is uh, they weren't as strong as these big pegs. During the big winds, I had some screws snap, as in snap in half. <laughs> so you really need these big giant ones. Unless you can put a big giant, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, big giant nut. Get the right attachment, screw it in, that'd be fine too. Problem is, if you do that, you would also need a uh, proper tool to remove them. And that's the problem too. With these, at least you can do it with your hands. There's no fussing, no drills. It's a bit more work, but as you can see, I'm already drilling it in now. It's not that hard. If you had like three or four guys, it'll be easy. And plus, you usually do this 
once you drill the holes and they're setting up and fishing, right? Uh, for right now, I have it pretty much okay in. Not that we need today. So two pegs should be enough for now. But I do want to twist it like 10 more times just in case. There we go. It's gonna pinch it hard now. Get it deep. I throw this so now I just gotta twist. I don't gotta push down anymore. Okay, good enough. For now. So remember, there's more I gotta do. Well, I'll do them later. Once I drill some ice fishing holes. This place is heating up. So earlier it was really cold. And now it's, I can take my jacket off. That's like hotter just. So I wanna take my sled in here. That way I can put my jacket on it and not wet it. And then start doing holes. I didn't bring it on. I gotta get the auger, be back. On the outside of the hut, there are these anchor ropes that you must anchor down so that when it gets windy, these don't pop in your face. But when it's not windy, it's okay. I still recommend you to tie them down. This is how I do it. I have a pre measure so that this will suit. Hook down here, like so. Let's have it picked down further down. And I'll keep it from popping in. Yes, two zones. Two holes drilled, and I'll drill two more there. Get that heat back on. Get some chairs in here. And time to ice fish, baby. Okay, so that's it. The bottom is going to need some snow. So I do that now. Kick it all in the bottom, basically. Bring a shovel helps. There we go. I kick a bunch of snow in the bottom. It's basically like this, one foot, non-stop. All around. It's good to look. Now it's airtight. Good for heat. So yeah, it's all around. So now it's done that. Now I've done the lip all around. The heat traps it a bit better and uh, stays going a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, don't yank it up. Oh, Woo! Oh, get up, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Sit up, sit up. That's pretty good. Throw her back. Okay. You want a fish grabber? <laughs> Here's a fish grabber. Oh my god, he's Here's a plier. <laughs> Let's push him back down. Can you stop going near me? It's so skinny. Creepy. Oh god. Holy moly. Walk him over. Plier. Hey, you guys take a picture right now. Oh, look at me. Cheese! Done. Put him back down. Go. Use the tip of the plier, not the bottom part of the plier. And pull it out. There you go. There. Go back. Now it looks like his science project. I'll cut it in. No, the other way. The other way. Other way. Put him the other way. Okay, face another way. Yeah, face first. Let go of the thing. Kick him in. Just so Kick softly. In. There you go. <laughs> no, I should have stopped on him and made him poop. <laughs> that was my fishing rod. Go get the spoon. Give me my fishing rod. Mommy's like, I'm going to catch one too. I don't care. <laughs> sure, she is. She's so concentrated. I wasn't even moving up and down anyways. I was like this, shaking a lot. Because I move a lot, that's how the fish can do it. Why? Hey, she caught a fish in you, you didn't. She's trying to make me nuts. <laughs> Mommy, help him. I think you're stuck, stuck on, on I think you're stuck on ice, bro, unless you caught a, a shark. Yeah, oh, that's huge, guys. You see that fish? You caught a big fish. <laughs> All right, so that completes ice fishing for this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage. We're going to leave this set up here and probably fish for the rest of the week. It is good weather. Hopefully with some luck and with some free time we have, we will catch more fish. All right, so stay tuned. What is that, a McDonald's burger? Yep, nice, good fishing food.
Alright, let's He's go inside. And leave it here probably. It's pretty cold. Well, once it gets warm, then it's Okay, fine, fine. Here's some bonus That's footage it. of another day that we just did. This is why I'm fishing now because they bite the most at this time. Pretty much all the fish you've caught was here at this time. This science fair area thing, the hardest part is it's a pretty hard inside You caught a fish. You got a fish. Oh, stop. Stop, stop. stop. Easy, easy, easy. No. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Stop, Keep the pressure here. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Slowly, slowly. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Easy, easy. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Easy, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Easy, easy. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. You got it. Keep going. Don't tug at you hard. Don't tug at you hard. Don't tug at you hard. Easy, easy. Fight it, fight it. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Fight it. Easy, 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 easy. It's going, it's going. Just let it fight. Calm down, calm down. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy. Keep, keep, keep the rod bent a little bit. Keep. Fight it, fight it, fight it. Stop, calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. You're gonna lose it. Calm down. Let it fight, let it fight. Just fight it. Keep it bent. Make it bent, make it bent. Keep it bent. Keep it bent. Keep it bent. Oh, you let it go. You didn't keep it bent. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's confusing. I've never caught a fish. Uh. All right, so that's it for this ice fishing video with this 4x8 tent that I got off Amazon. A couple of closing comments. I really like that there's a lot of these side pouches for you to hold stuff. I like that it's easy to set up. I like there's a lot of room. But one thing to mention is that the material is quite thin. But apart from that, it does a good job. Some of the more expensive ones do have better insulation. But in my experience, it doesn't make much difference. What makes the big difference is having a heater or not. So this is not a premium tent, but it's an affordable tent. It only cost me about 300 bucks and it works great. So, if you're gonna ask me, I'd say this is a good tent. This is Han from the Best Fam Outdoor Show. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay warm if you're in the winter. Peace out.